Y'all know what time it is. In a previous video, we showed you guys the design for this camp trailer that I came up with, as well as the modular trailer base that we're going to be building this system around. And that's gonna allow us to swap on not only our camper, but also a, a general purpose trailer, as well as down the line, a uh, camera boom operator's seat to be towed behind the carts. So today, all we're gonna be focusing on is actually building the trailer section of it. Basically, all we're gonna do is gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna be a three foot by three foot uh, steel square tube platform. And then from the bottom of that, I'm gonna basically make a sort of modified swing arm that will hold our axle in place. Our trailer hitch is going to be about 12 and a half inches off the ground, coming off the back of the red cart. So we're just gonna to have to figure out how to make a tongue that's gonna to go from here and attach to under here, which is about 19 inches off the ground. But anyways, I got most of the measurements I think I need. Some of this stuff I'm gonna leave for sort of uh, guess and check. Let's get started. Try this again. The GoPro has got a mind of its own again today. So I didn't get a shot of me welding in these cross members, but we got some supports now. So the top part of our trailer is done. It's pretty light too. And up next, I'm just gonna have to figure out how I want to get the wheels mounted under here. So what I'm thinking is. If this is upside down like this, I'm gonna have brackets for my shocks here and here, and then my little swing arm is gonna come up off of here. Those are gonna meet together like that. I have a big wheel here, big wheel there. Then we can flip this thing over and figure out that one this tongue connection, but let's just hope the GoPro keeps recording. done got all my brackets made as you can see I've stacked up two pieces of one inch square tube that way I can give myself a two inch gap because if I remember correctly these shocks compress two inches they'll be on a little bit of an angle so my suspension travel will be two inches or less emphasis on the or less so I think two inches should be just fine um, so we're gonna use these rails that I've put here to help me space out the uh, height of the axle off of the trailer. I should back up and say this is upside down. Well, let, let me get the axle, it'll make more sense. So when this is all said and done, these two pieces of steel won't be in here. They're just spacers to give me that right height for my axle. So what I'm thinking is I gotta find some way to mount my shocks and my little swing arm piece. So here's what we're working with. I'm thinking swing arm comes through, pivots down here, okay? And then we'll weld these existing uh, bearing hangers onto this, uh, I'm gonna continue calling it a swing arm. And then 
we'll take our shock, weld that to our swing arm, and then as you can see, we're kind of just floating around back here in no man's land. So in order to be able to attach this shock to something, I cut some support pieces. This will go right on there. And we should be in business. Thank you, Frank. We almost got a trailer. Next order of business, so I'll get my trailer hitch welded on over here. This guy goes on here, and I just have to make a tongue to connect this to our actual trailer. accessories later. It runs a standard two inch ball and you saw the hitch that I put on the red cart. We'll have to test this thing out once I have it all welded up but it's gonna be really sweet. I'm probably also gonna make a little stand like you see I've got it propped up right now but I think I'll make an, an actual one that swings and then locks into place. I think that would be pretty cool but so far so good. I'm digging this. We're gonna have to get it out and test it once I have the right axle on here because I'm not 100% sure how much I trust the, uh, the suspension. Then I have to connect the two arms here and make one continuous swing arm just for strength reasons. We'll see how it plays out. I'm gonna get everything welded up and then in the coming video, we'll get this thing out behind the uh, red car. We can jump on it, see what the suspension looks like. And before you know it, we're gonna be building the top part of this thing. So if you've been following along, Appreciate your support. 
Thanks for the views, it helps us out a lot. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. This is gonna be a really cool build. Knock this out today. The rest of it's gonna take a little bit longer. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.